How's it going everyone? I'm Aaron Nick and welcome to Inc. This is a interesting indie game um, on Steam that uh, it has some very interesting concepts. So it's it's a lot like Super Meat Boy, but okay. So basically you can't see the stage when you start and then you use your body to ink it up. You can double jump and that spreads your ink. So you just want to do that as much as possible so when you die it does it spreads the ink so here's the next room where you can't see anything so oh hey there's block there can't go there and it makes the game look super interesting okay so i died because there's a there's a big jump there so this teaches me to do the double jump and that's the whole game it that is everything you do it's just oh well i jumped too high I didn't know you could jump too high in this game, to be completely honest. Alright, so now that I got it, so now I'm just going to start doing these first few levels really quick. Because they're super easy. It's like every game, just doing a quick little introduction. Oh. I have not played this game prior, I have seen a little bit of gameplay. That's kind of how I knew just like what was going on, but besides that, this is this is completely blind. I have no clue what I'm expecting. Yeah, super easy. It's a lot like Super Meat Boy, but it has a twist. And the reason why I wanted to play this game so much is because it has a twist that like you don't really like you don't see this inventiveness in too many games now and i think this is one of the most inventive things i've seen in a while in games and it's absolutely brilliant i mean just look, look at this then um spikes will come into play soon but for now that's fine i am yeah just blazing along blazing along this guy seems like the other level that I did, but a little bit different. Oh, wow, come on, I died at the end. Alright. And, me, uh, that's the thing too, Super Meat Boy was actually my first playthrough, and we got enemies now, which I think I can hop on. Yep, I can hop on them. Oh, I think I have to hop on them. Yep, you have to hop on them to open the door. Come on, let me up, let me up. There we go. Yeah, and it, it's just... So Super Meat Boy will always hold a special place in my heart, because it Super Meat Boy fulfilled two of the things that I absolutely enjoy in games. One, it was... Wow, it was inventive, unlike other games. And the second thing is that it, um... It was very difficult, and being difficult and making you feel successful when you finish something is... Uh, definitely high on my list. Like, Super Meat Boy was excruciatingly difficult, like, too difficult, but at the same time, I think that's alright. Like, I prefer games that are, like, difficult that you can beat. Um, I am currently, actually, I currently just finished my Ninja Gaiden playthrough, too. So that's another game I could talk about, too, in comparison. I mean, because they are both platformers, and Ninja Gaiden's a game where, like, it, it's it's an NES difficult that you just, you kill everything in one hit, but everything just destroys you in, at the same time, so it makes it very difficult. Uh, that, uh, there we go. I, I just wanted to focus, make sure I didn't screw that up. Continue on. Uh, let's now. Oh, okay, so we got a longer room, so this is gonna start getting longer. This is, I, the music too, like, it's really, um, it's got this really, like, techy music going on, so it's, it really does add to the experience. You kind of immerse, like, it's got that immersive, like, not, like, that slow, like, get yourself in the world feel but like that uh that like you're here and doing this kind of oh wow oh that's the thing too even dying in dying you you reveal more plus look at how like cool that looks when a wall is just coated in different colors 
I just got an achievement called Incompetent, so I must have died a lot. There we go. There we go. I mean, I honestly just want to, like, completely code a, code a level. Just to see, like, everything. Like, this, this is awesome. Alright, where... Oh, so I need to get these guys. That's cool. This one was a work, work my way down, which was different. They definitely took their time on these the levels. Um, I kind of really wish I knew, uh, I'd researched this game a little bit more, so I'd be able to talk about uh, who you know the developers were. I really don't even know. Uh, I just I just saw this game, knew I had to play it. So that's kind of how that happened. Absolutely love this concept, absolutely love platformers. You know, platformers have been around forever. And that's that's the thing, like if you can if you can change up the formula of platformers as a developer, that that is groundbreaking in and of itself. Like how like how do you change up the formula that like Mario created so long ago? It is like the hardest task to complete, but at the same time, it like it is rewarding for the developer. I'm sure, you know, to create something this new and this interesting, and that's why that's why I actually love indie games sometimes more than normal games, like normal AAA titles, because that's the thing. Normal AAA titles sometimes won't be as inventive. Like they'll they'll still be good, but um, they, they won't. They won't try and raise the bar too much. They'll try and go with what they know works. As opposed to trying new out-of-the-box ideas. You know, imagine like if, you know, guys at Call of Duty, they're just like, you know, Treyarch was just like, let's, let's code everything in ink. Everyone, like, no one would be on board for that. I'm not gonna talk about that too much, but it, it's just, you know, it, this is an idea that most game companies can't just, like, throw around. Oh, but an indie developer can. An indie developer can want to try the new and inventive things. And when they work, that's when the bigger developers will actually start incorporating them in their games. Then we get the progress. That was really stupid of me to die there, but that's okay. I'm just going to continue on. I could talk for hours on this. This is... It, it's such a fantastic idea. It's so amazing. No, not even just this game. Just the whole idea of indie developers. That they can create something on the idea that, you know, this might work. This might be successful. And then develop it into this whole great new thing. And then we get a whole new genre. I mean, Super Meat Boy is just a random game that, like, you know... Nobody thought would be anything. Binding Isaac is a game that nobody thought would really be anything. And now, look at them. They're like, Binding Isaac is one of the single most talked about indie games. You know, it had a full-on remake on, uh, on on consoles and stuff. You can you can play Super Meat Boy on every console. You know, those are just two games that, wow, damn it, I beat the level too. The door was open. You know, those are just two examples of games, like two great examples of indie games that have gone right. But there's so many other games that, like, have these great concepts that have never been done before. Like, just yesterday, I was seeing this, I, this, somebody play a game on YouTube that was a, uh, it was Tetris, but it was a first-person Tetris where instead of flipping the blocks, you flip your screen. All right, where do I go now? Okay, there's a little block up there. And it was just this like, it was very disorienting. It wasn't like, it wasn't a game that like, could make it onto console, I don't believe. I don't think, you know, everyone could play the, oh wow, I am just dropping myself. Uh, but the, but the first person, oh fuck, I'm terrible. But this first-person Tetris game, like, I don't think people could play it for too long, because it was very, like, 
it was kind of disorienting to the eyes and like whoever like for whoever the guy that was playing and he actually only made a couple minute video on it but it it was still it was still awesome the concept was amazing the fact that you know they take a classic game tetris flip flip the axis instead and you just have this oh wow am i in a boss all right boss time all right one i'm assuming i have to hit him three times damn it okay one two and three not three more than three okay could be five then four four is not four is not the right number you did not hit the boss four times and that was crazy the way the, the ink worked there all right um so i probably should have stated this earlier as far as how this playthrough is going i am not i don't think i'm going to continue after the first oh wow spikes now spikes are here i don't think i'm going to really continue after the first video um i'm doing a lot of kind of one and done videos right now just to keep things interesting to keep things fresh try things out see what games work see what games don't work because i still am kind of a fairly early channel so i think that um this is good for me to kind of learn you know what works what games do and don't work what games i commentate better on so i think i'm just gonna try this is definitely getting super meat boyish now i don't think i've really seen this far before yeah the playthrough i saw didn't go this far so this is definitely interesting i don't know how long this game is either that's uh that's the thing so you know it could be as long as super meat boy super meat boy was actually fairly long for an indie game but I'm get, I, I digress i'm getting off topic um I was saying that I'm doing one and done playthroughs to see what works. So I I'm doing um right now I'm doing Ninja Gaiden with which I have not uploaded all the videos uh as of right now. I should be uploading the last couple over the next couple of days or so. Um I'm also just getting back into um uploading two a day, which I am very proud of myself actually. I, I have been working insanely hard i'm not saying like like killing myself but i've been working very very hard on uh the games i've been playing on different projects uh i have a couple different things that i'm gonna be trying soon that are actually getting close to being done i'm doing them on the side so that they are they're not going to distract from my gameplay but i think that i actually think these videos might turn out better than some of my gameplay videos and i'm very excited to see how they turn out and how people um how people react to them i just ran into that like four times in a row um what's that what was that is that like an extra collectible have there been like those collectibles this whole time and maybe i missed them holy crap please please stop my ink a little bit just jump up in the air and spread my ink a little bit all right just see what i got to work with oh wow okay so maybe spread my ink this way now oh okay so it's basically a block that i assume i've got to climb back up I want to spread my ink a little bit here. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get that heart thing. Um, I think those are like extra, extra collectibles that maybe unlock extra stages. But I really don't think that I need to worry too much about that. That That's just an extra thing. Extra step in the process that, while it would be cool, but I don't, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. But... Hey, this game has collectibles. Look at that. It, the, the levels also use kind of like similar level designs that they had like in pre, like previous sets. Oh damn. Why did I do that? 
And I actually just noticed the music changed um, quite a bit. Can I even get back up there? I don't believe it. Nope, I can't. The music changed up quite a bit. So now it's... Oh, fuck! Fuck, why? Why did I do that? I am just trying to focus, but it's not working out so well. Alright, now... It's the exit. Yeah! I don't know how hard this game will get either. So I just climb. Yeah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Made it! Somehow I climbed, I fell, and I made it again. Ah, damn it. Okay, make sure there aren't any like spikes or anything. Seems very simple. Yeah, simple room. Oh, moving box. That's what that was introducing. Yep, that was just a variation on the other room that was like also doing the same thing. But that's cool, moving box now. Um. Let's see, where am I at on time? Oh. I think I'm just gonna try and make it just a few more rooms. Maybe see if there's a boss. Because if I could beat the second boss, that'd be neat. Then I will only continue this game, you know, if there's if people really want me to. Oh, oh I looked up and I thought I was uh, the I thought it was the moving blob. That I have to kill. This, see like how much more colorful the screen is though? Because this is definitely a stage where like I was I was having a very tough time figuring out what was going on then after I died a couple times now I can actually see everything and the enemies dying and giving off the thing also helps. more splatters. I think I need to... Good! Good! Alright, what now? There's spikes. There's moving stuff. There's moving things. You can't tell what's going on. And then afterwards, like, after you've done it a couple times and you've, like, you've inked everything, it's, it is only your fault for, um, not being able to defeat, like, to complete the level. Oh, there's spikes to the left there. See, I wouldn't even realize that. Oh, there's spikes up there. Oh, shit. What, 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 what do I do there? Okay, so I didn't... Couldn't see what was going on. That's the whole reason that happened. But, I now know. I now have the greater picture. And that is... That is genius. Thank you, developer. I... You know, I might take a minute to actually talk about the developer at the end of this video, just because I, th I think they deserve the recognition of creating this game, of creating this idea. I thought I was dead. I thought that I hit him. There were spikes up there that I couldn't see. That's why I did that. But that is entirely fine. This is a big level. Leave my ink everywhere. I wonder if there's, I wonder if like in settings, if you can change the color of your ink to be all one color. Oh, fuck! Oh, okay. I was trying to, I was trying to cheat that a little bit, see if I could speed it up, but it doesn't look like I can. That's fine. Slow and steady wins the race. I'm not going too slow, but... I think I'm making great progress in the game. Like, it's... For the, for the time I'm taking and stuff, I feel like uh, I definitely could have only done like the first section. What the fuck? This is not a game to be swearing at. It's it's ink. It's all colorful and happy. And I'm, I should not be swearing. Wait on this puck. I'm giving it. I'm giving it one more try on this one. I might just call it at this level. If I do, that is entirely alright. I might just pick it up another time. Yep, did it. Alright. 
So, I think I'm gonna end the video here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please go down below and let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, and I'm going to roll my outro. But then, if you want to stick around, I might be talking for a minute about the developer, give you guys some information. Because if you're interested about this game, I, I think they deserve the recognition, and I want to give you know promote them and they made a fantastic game here i am i was super excited i'm super happy i played this and if you want to see more of this gameplay just let me know and i'll i'll continue playing all right see ya thanks for coming back so uh i actually i found a very interesting website um it told about uh the story of the developer and it was actually really cool and it talked about they were actually talking about some of the other games that they're um they're interested in making it's actually zatch bell uh games and they had an interview with destructoid and um if you don't know who they are that's a website and i believe they have a magazine but as far as I know, um, I've only looked at Destructoid uh, websites, uh, articles, and they, you know, they provide articles, and they were talking about ink and how, um, you know, it was so much trouble, and they put so much effort into this game, and I, that makes me think they deserve the recognition all the more. They have more games in development. They, they show little snippets of these games. They're saying, you know, like what's next, and games look cool they look interesting in design they'd have just little clips of them but they definitely look like things i would be interested in and i think i would want to play those but uh for sure i'll have the link in the description i'll have a link to the game on steam go check it out yourself 